Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm gonna share 10 tips to help you draw better. Tip number one is drawing with your elbow. And no, I don't mean putting the pen in your elbow and trying to draw like this. I mean, rather than drawing with your fingers or your wrist, keep your fingers and your wrist completely locked and draw using your elbow as the center of rotation. That'll make sure that your lines are nice and curved and smooth and everything like that. Tip number two is to draw faster strokes because sometimes when you're drawing, if you move your hand too slowly, the line will come out wobbly because there's more time for your hand to move. But if you draw your strokes faster, quicker, you're going to get nice smooth curves and straight lines much easier. Tip number three is draw more spontaneous gestures. When you're drawing hair, just follow a general direction, but just kind of go at it. Don't sit there and go, okay, I'm gonna draw one hair, and then the next hair, and the next hair, and so on. Be spontaneous about it. You'll notice a lot of life drawing and figure drawing that people do as far as sketches are very loose and spontaneous. Tip number four is draw segmented lines. You don't have to draw a single solid line when you're outlining something. You can break it up into individual little segments, one little piece at a time. That makes it a lot easier to draw sometimes. Tip number five is to draw from different angles, different angles, different angles. Tip number five is to draw from different angles and rotate your page because that makes it a lot easier to get certain angles when you're drawing. Tip number six is to flip your canvas. Flipping your canvas both horizontally and vertically makes it really easy to see areas where you made mistakes and it helps keep everything nice and even and in proportion. It can also be really helpful to freshen up your image because after you've been working with something a really long time, you sometimes get kind of sick of looking at it and flipping it kind of makes it look fresh. Tip number seven is study primitive shapes. Primitive shapes make up every single object that you can draw. My head is a sphere, my neck is a cylinder, my torso is a cylinder, my arms are cylinders, my fingers are cylinders. And once you know how to draw and shade all of those primitive shapes, it makes it really easy to draw and shade anything. Tip number eight is draw iterative sketches. Do a sketch and then create a new layer on top of that and create another sketch, another layer on top of that and another sketch. And with each sketch, your drawing is gonna get more and more refined. Tip number nine is to draw often. You cannot draw often enough. If you wanna get really good at drawing, you have to do it all the time. Think about a bodybuilder. They work out all the time and they get all buff and pump up their muscles. Look at my muscles, they are so huge. They don't work out once a month, they work out every single day. And your imagination and your hand-eye coordination and all of your drawing skills work the same way. They're a muscle and you have to exercise them often to make them stronger. The last tip is number 10 and that's drawing a variety of different objects. Get out of your comfort zone and if you always draw faces, try drawing animals. If you always draw animals, try drawing buildings. Try doing different genres. You could do abstract art or you could do surrealism or still life or impressionism and get a lot of variety because all of that experience is gonna help you. If I'm drawing something that I've never drawn before, it makes it a lot easier to know how to draw certain elements. For example, if somebody asked me to draw a zebra and I'd never drawn one before, but I'd drawn a horse, I could take a lot of that information from learning how to draw a horse and apply it to a zebra. Maybe it's not something as close as a zebra. Maybe somebody's asking me to draw a dog or something. I'd still have an idea of how to draw fur and how to draw a four-legged animal and so on. So. All of that experience really helps when you're learning how to draw different kinds of things. So there you go. Those are 10 tips to help you draw better. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have tons and tons of videos that'll teach you how to become a better artist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.